Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sarah. I make a bunch of lifestyle, vlogs, fashion related content. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you subscribe and stick around. But today I am packing for our honeymoon. We are leaving for Greece in like three days. It is the day after our wedding. So if you haven't seen all the wedding content and you are interested, make sure you check all that out. But the day you are seeing this, I think it's the day we are arriving in Greece. So if you're not already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting probably a lot more on there, keeping you guys like caught up on the day to day in Greece, which is so exciting. We're doing Athens, Mykonos and Santorini, and I am like beyond excited. So without further ado, we are going to jump into packing, but I wanted to thank Level 8 Luggage for sending me this beautiful carry-on. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got it in this white color. This is actually called the Glitter Carry-on, and it's just like amazing. I feel like the quality is really good, so thank you to Level 8 for sending me over this beautiful carry-on. I'm going to pack this, and I'm probably also going to need a big checked bag as well because... Your girl is bringing a lot of stuff, as you can see behind me. Um, I like to be over prepared, so I definitely am bringing a lot of stuff with me, and I will get right on into packing. So first, I just want to do a little overview of what we got going on here, because I know this is a lot of stuff. I probably don't need nearly as much as this, but I like to be prepared. So here, we have all like my long sleeves. I was checking the weather and it actually kind of looks a little bit chilly, like 60s to 70s. So I figured at night I might need some long sleeves. So these are a bunch of like button up blouses and all that kind of stuff. Here we have shorts. These are like casual daytime pool shorts, jeans shorts, some um, different color denim shorts. And I actually also brought a pair of long jeans just in case I was cold at night. Here are just some comfy t-shirts and workout clothes, like comfy workout tank tops, shorts, biker shorts. Here are all my bathing suits. I'm bringing a lot of bathing suits. I just like to have variety. You never know. All that kind of stuff. These are a bunch of like going out dresses, sets, shirts. These are like nighttime outfits. If you haven't seen my Princess Polly haul, some of this stuff is from that, so check that out. If you're interested, I also have a Shein haul coming next week, so subscribe if you're in interested in that. A lot of this stuff is actually from Shein. Um, here is some more like nighttime outfits. This set is really awesome from Princess Polly. I just got this as well. Um, these, my biggest pile right here, is just like basics. Crop tops, tank tops, like literally the easiest outfit I could just throw over, put a long sleeve over them. Super, super easy little outfits right there. These are some dresses that I have, like longer dresses in that little pile. Underwear, socks, some shoes. So these are both from Target. These little flip-flops I bought recently are so cute. A little knot detail. I thought, thought these were perfect for Greece. And then these ones, Matt just bought me these actually for my birthday. They have a tiny little heel, which is going to be good for Greece because... I definitely don't want anything large so that is perfect I'm also gonna bring a few pairs of just like normal flip-flops my rainbows and then I should be kind of good I'm gonna bring my Air Forces as well we have a bunch of sunglasses I am like a sunglass freak I love having different variety of sunglasses so I'm bringing like a million pairs of sunglasses with me so those are all those masks dry shampoo these little things go on my carry-on this is actually a tripod for my phone, so I figured when Matt and I are alone, it would be really nice to be able to prop this up and get pictures of us. Tripod for my camera. I'm obviously going to be bringing all my camera stuff. Hats. Bunch of bucket hats in a bunch of colors. Baseball cap. Adapters for Europe. Do not forget those. <laughs> These will be going in my carry-on. I always need my drum. I mean, this goes front and center in my carry-on I actually have another one right there <laughs> um, and these are just some gas relief pills hairbrushes contact solution little purse I'm actually gonna bring another purse with me as well our passports obviously very important this is my makeup in here obviously we aren't leaving for a few days I'm gonna need some of this stuff but I just want to show you everything um, 
This is actually my jewelry box. It's super cute. I got this actually off Shein. I'll open it up in a second and show you. My real glasses, and this is a bunch of toiletries as well. I'll go into that and more toiletries. I'll sit down and show you all this stuff in a second. But this is everything I'm bringing. I know it's a lot of stuff. Okay, so I wanted to sit down and show you guys my jewelry box. I think it's the cutest thing. I'll show you what I have in it and all that kind of stuff. So I bought the jewelry box from Shein. It was $4, and I actually bought this little S from Amazon, and it was like in a pack of six S's for, I think, five bucks, and I just literally super glued it right on, and I think it's really cute. So inside, I think this is like pretty much all the jewelry I'm going to end up bringing. I have... This is my Miranda Fry Julia chain, which is my favorite necklace ever. Um, I have an Anna Luisa necklace. I have this little beaded one from Shein. Bunch of necklaces in here. And this, this case is like perfect, but I do wish the jewelry section for the necklaces was a little larger because obviously that looks like a hot mess just because I can't like shove all my necklaces into that little pocket. But whatever. I have quite a few rings on this side right here. Mostly from Anna Luisa, and that's actually one of my wedding bands down at this bottom. And then I just have some huggies on this side. Um, I'm going to put these huggies in there as well because the day before we leave for our trip is our wedding, obviously. And I'm not going to be wearing these for the wedding, so I'm going to throw them in my jewelry box right before the wedding. But isn't this just like the cutest little jewelry box ever? I love it. Um, and then for this guy, this is from... Lancome like a million and a half years ago, so I'm sorry I cannot link it. I actually got a few questions to link these bags when I posted my last pack with me, and I'm sorry, they're just super old. I don't have links, but um, I love using little bags like this just to separate everything. So you'll see, like these are these are just something I use like every single time. I like to pack in little bags. Um, so in here I have a bunch of toiletries. So this is my day cream face cream with SPF I have some toothpaste I have a little bottle of dry shampoo face wash uh, shampoo and conditioner I just bought like the cheap kind I might honestly need more than this for my trip I that I'll have to buy there I don't like to weigh my bags down with products like big products like this though so I would rather just purchase them when I'm there but I am going to bring these little guys just in case I can't find them like right away. I'll have a few days worth at least. I have a little contact solution. I did pack a big one though because this will not get me through two weeks. Um, a little deodorant. Sunscreen. Obviously sunscreen. I think this is enough to get us through our two weeks. I use this little guy to put my face moisturizer in for the nighttime. The daytime has sunscreen in it. My nighttime does not. And it is in this massive tub that I just do not want to travel with me. Like, it is, it will take up half my bag. It's massive. So, I put them in these little containers I get from Target or Walmart or something like that. So, that is that. And then I have this, the Body Shop Body Butter. And this is in the flavor Satsuma. So, that is what I bring for lotion. I can also pick up extra stuff while I'm there. But then also... I am bringing this little roller ball of my wedding perfume. So this is the Nest Wild Poppy perfume. And it's my wedding perfume. And I have a big bottle of it as well. But I think the roller ball is a lot easier to travel with. And it has plenty of product in here to get me through the two weeks. So that is what is in this bag. I really love this little guy. And I don't use these products on a day-to-day. -day, at least these travel size versions. So this always just stays packed like this when I whenever I have to travel. I just pack this without really touching it, which is really nice. This is actually packed still from my Mexico trip. If you haven't seen that pack with me, I'll link it. It's very similar to this one, but if you're interested, I can link that for you guys as well. Um, but that is literally still packed from my last trip I took. And this guy... This is like my just throw everything in this bag. It's kind of junky, but I have like Q-tips, more toothpaste, allergy pills, ibuprofen, some tanning, face drops, um, a to an extra toothbrush if I forget one, a few lipsticks, like random stuff, Neosporin, um, like a bunch of stuff in this bag, just random stuff. So that is in that bag. You guys know I love to pack with packing cubes, so obviously I'm going to do that again. 
I have three with me to use. I think Matt used the other ones when he was packing last night because he also uses them. I can link them below. They're from Amazon. I think they're kind of on the cheaper side, but honestly, they work perfectly fine for me. I have no problems. And then I also have this little tiny bag. I think my maid of honor got this for me off of like Shein or Amazon or something. I can actually ask her and try to link it for you guys, but this actually came with a beach bag that's up there. I can show you in a minute. Since I am leaving in three days, there's gonna be things that I like find around the house that I'm like, oh, I need to bring that. And everything is gonna be packed. All my little bags are gonna be packed. So I'm leaving this bag empty to pack all those little doodads that I find that need to go in my luggage in this little guy. So this is gonna stay empty until I find random things around the house that I need to bring. So I think that is all my rambling and we can get right on into the packing now. Okay, so this is what the inside of this carry-on looks like. It has like the two normal sections with the zippers and this side actually is like waterproof feeling and it has two smaller pockets. I think I'm gonna actually put my bras, um, underwear, socks, all that kind of stuff in these guys. I think that's super easy. And another big compartment over here. And this luggage actually came with a luggage protector, which I personally probably will not use, but really good like thing to include if you wanna keep your luggage really nice and like clean and not scratched up, but I'm willing to take that risk. So this comes with the luggage. And actually, so does this really nice luggage tag. It's actually like really good quality and beautiful. And I'm gonna put my information in here shortly and put it on because I really like the look of it. It's like this beautiful tan leather. So I am just going to get started packing. The first thing I'm gonna do is actually pack this little section right here. And I'm gonna put my underwear, socks, anything I can fit in these little sections. So that is full. My plan of attack is actually to put my heaviest items in my carry-on because then my bag, I won't have to worry about it being overweight. So all of my jeans and like heavy shorts are gonna go in this bag. Um, for this bag, I'm actually not going to use the packing cubes just because I'd rather use it on all my smaller items. And that will probably go in my bigger bag. So here is all my shorts fit in this side and my jeans. The other thing that I'm putting in the carry-on is my tripod. It opens up, so it just opens up like that and it comes out really long, but this thing is heavy. Like it's good quality, it's really heavy. So this is gonna go in here as well. And I'm also just gonna put some hats right on top because these can kind of get a little bit squished. And I also, you guys probably know this, but I like to put my like sunglasses or little things kind of in the corners, like smush them in the corners, just because they like fit and they're small and I think it works. So I like to do that when I have some extra room. I guess I can also throw this little bag right here. And I think that is all for this one side. Zip it up. Now we're moving on to this side and these things are also pretty heavy, so I'm gonna put them in here. Adapters. I'm not gonna take them out of the box. That's smarter. And the rest of this bag, I think I'm gonna fill up with shoes, so I might not pack it full 100% right now because I have a lot of shoes downstairs that I'm planning on bringing, but I think that's the best thing to do for this bag. I think that looks really good. And obviously I'll fill the rest with the shoes that I like am continuing to wear throughout the week. But so what I'm gonna put in this big packing cube is all of my like sets and nicer going out shirts. So I'm just gonna start packing it up.
first packing cube is done. I'm gonna try to put all my bathing suits in here. And this one, I'm gonna put all my like athletic wear, which I'm just gonna kind of plop. Gonna fit these shirts in here. Perfect. Okay, now we are getting into my massive checked bag. This is where I'm gonna put all of my packing cubes. They fit perfectly. Got a lot of stuff. So, I'm actually going to put them in this side. There we go. And then in here, I'm just going to put all my like loose clothes that I have left that didn't fit in packing cubes. It's really not much of it. But I also do have some math stuff that needs to be packed in here that he couldn't fit in his bag. all of Matt's shirts that I need to fold and pack in this bag. And this is that beach bag. This is that beach bag I'm bringing. It says bride. It's literally like the last time I can probably ever use it. And it has a zipper and it's like perfect for the beach. So I'm just going to bring this empty. And the last thing I like to do is keep like a little bag like this. Just to keep all like my dirty, not all my clothes, but like my dirty underwear and socks. The things that like I like to keep separated, like very separated, are going to go in this little bag. So I'm going to keep this in there as well. And I think that is pretty much everything for my packed luggage. We're done. I think that is the end of my packing. Like I said before, this video is going up the day I get into Greece, so if you are not already following me over on Instagram, make sure you do that, and also subscribe. We are going to have a bunch of our wedding content coming up in the next few weeks, which is going to be super exciting, and yeah, so a lot of fun things coming, coming, and you will come along for the ride for the most part, so... I think I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know you guys really love the pack with me video, so I always try to do one when I'm going away to show you what I'm bringing, my essentials, all that kind of stuff. So I hope it helped and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.